Well, hello everybody. Guess who I got? Hi. <laughs> My sister Hi. Tina. Hi to everybody. I'm here today. Because God, God just moved for her to be here today. Yes. So you get to meet her. Praise the Lord. And you know what? We got a word for you. Yes, we, we do. do. Yes. So right now we're gonna it's open up word. with prayer. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Lord Yeshua, Hamashi, and Rahakadesh, Lord, we come boldly before your throne of grace today. And we bless your holy name and we praise you and we thank you. And we thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives and for taking care of us, Lord God. Yes. And thank you that yes. you love us. And thank you that you chose us to be your children, Lord God. And oh, thank you, Father, for mm -hmm. the love that you have lavished upon us as your children, yes. that, we, that we may be called children. Yes. Your son, Yeshua Hamashiach. We love you and bless your holy name. Rahakadesh, I pray and ask that you will fill us up. And please bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding while reading mm -hmm. and hearing your word today. Thank you. And may you bless the people with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding while hearing your word today. And may yes. they hear this message and may it be written on the tablets of their hearts. Thank mm. you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. And, and quickly... I want uh, on my last video I talked about the sin uh, of sexual sin, you know, and I said hepatitis C, meaning hepatitis B. You know, sometimes I get to speaking, and my my I get to speaking faster than I'm thinking. Okay, so I I really want to correct that. It's hepatitis B that is sexual transmitted disease. And sexual transmitted disease come upon people that are disobeying God and having yes. sexual intimate intimacy outside of their marriage. One man, one woman, not two men and two women together. No, mm -mm. it's one man, one woman, foreordained by God from the very beginning and creation of time. Okay, so I wanted to correct that, and thank you, thank you, my sister, that you reminded me of that, you know, in in your um, note below my other video. So, anyway, there we go. But now, we have a message from the Lord. As I was praising the Lord this morning in, in praise and worship, He wrote it on my heart to tell you, about the Sabbath and how important it is that we keep it Amen. because it's a rehearsal for the thousand years coming Amen. so those of us who are called right now need to be keeping the Sabbath he let is, me put in there real quick go ahead God just put in mind he said when you're doing a play a theater production or anything for school or or any anything you, that's why you have rehearsals. Amen. So when you get to the main production, then you know what to do, what to say, and how to yes. act. And, and, and this is what this rehearsal of the Shabbat is all about, yes. is knowing how to act and how, what to do during that thousand-year reign. It's, it's a rehearsal of what really is going to I happen, I know, what we're sister. getting ready to do all the time. Ooh. Yes. I know. Amen. Okay. First of all, we're going to the very beginning in Bereshit Genesis. It says, at the end of every single time that God created, it says, so there was evening and there was morning one day. Mm -hmm. One five. One eight. So there was evening and there was morning a second day. That's the reason why all the feast and everything that belongs sunset to the to Jewish sunset. is from sunset to sunset. Because God pronounced it from the very beginning. Because each one of these ends with that. Um, four, in 19, so there was evening and there was morning a fourth day. And so, um, 23, so there was evening and morning a fifth day. Oh, being interrupted. My and also, it also says, and that's how it was, and I like that. Because you either believe God's word or you don't. You either get it. You either believe every single word or you don't get it. So, Amen. Amen. I mean, that's all there is to it. So then in 2 1, it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, along with everything in them. On the seventh day, God was finished with his work which he had made. So he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. 
God blessed the seventh day and separated it as holy, because on that day God rested from all his work which he had created, so that it, it itself could produce. Seventh day. What from is the, the seventh beginning. day from the beginning of time? Sunday is the first day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Sunday church was brought in by Constantine in the year 300 in the Catholic Church because Constantine wanted to get away from the Jewish rules to break it away and make man-made doctrines. God's Amen. word says it is the seventh day. The Shabbat, the Sabbath, is the seventh day. That's Saturday now. Saturday, not the Sunday. End. Okay, the end. I mean, let me, I'm, I'm going over here. To, I want to go over here to Exodus real Exodus quick. Exodus 20? 20. I, Ten Commandments? Go. Yes, that's my next yes. one. Go okay, to the Exodus girl. 20. Yes, go that's to Exodus 20. That's the next one God wrote 20. down. Exodus 20. It is important that it's you understand. It's very important we know the Ten Commandments. Verse 8. Okay. You read. It says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Amen. Six days... Shall thou labor and do all thy work? Well, how many days did God work over there in Genesis? Six. Six days. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou art thy sons, nor thy daughters, nor thy maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, even to the animals, do you Even understand? to the animals, they're supposed to rest, yes. Nor thy Amen. stranger that is within thy gate. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all in them is and rested the seventh day. So he's best basing this commandment off of what he did on creation. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and I hallowed it. Hallowed it. Hallowed it. So he separated it. Hallowed here means separated for himself. Yes. We are separated to him. We who are called right now have been separated out for him. That's why it's a rehearsal That's day. That's why it's a rehearsal. We're being because separated we're being out. separated. We're going to be they, in the thousand the Lord year reign. Lord just showed us that right now. Wow. So when you read Exodus 20, the Lord said, go to Revelation 20. In Revelation 20, it talks about the thousand years. That thousand years is the thousand year Sabbath rest. Yes. This Sabbath that we are having right now is the rehearsal for that thousand years. Because it says in, in um, Revelation 20, verse 5. Let's go back a little. Uh, where do we want to start here, Lord? Okay, let's go to four. Then I saw thrones, and those seated on them received authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for testifying, excuse me, testifying about Yeshua and proclaiming the word of God. Also those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands. They came to life and ruled with the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, for a thousand years. That's us. They ruled. That's us. For a thousand Ooh, years. Yes. That's what we get to do. This is teaching us what us we're going to do. The, us, the Sabbath keepers. Yes. Yes. Blessed. We so we go to six. Blessed and holy is anyone who has part in the first resurrection. Over him, the second death has no power. Has no power. On the contrary, they will be Kohanim of God and of the Messiah, and they will rule with him for the thousand years. You <sighs> see, we will be. Ruling and reigning for a thousand years with Yeshua HaMashiach and his and, kingdom. And it's going to be our Sabbath rest with him. Uh, God brought me to Isaiah 58, 13. Hold on. Yep. Okay. okay. Got it wrote down. It says. Sorry. I got oh, that in your way, don't I? That's okay. Okay. Yes, if I turn away thy foot from this Sabbath... Hmm. Ooh, we don't want to turn from the Sabbath because that's He's this is judgment in Isaiah because it's well, it's part of the right and wrong fa feasting, fasting. It's telling you all fifty-eight tells you how to fast. Okay, it's part of your fast when you fast. Okay, to honor the certain things, and it is if thy turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. Yes, Lord. From God. doing thy pleasure on my holy day, called the Sabbath, a delight 
the holy of the Lord honoreth and shall honor him not doing thine own way nor finding thy own pleasure nor speaking thy own words then shall thy delight thyself in the Lord I will cause thee to ride up on the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of the of Jacob thy father for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it read it in your Bible in 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 the 58 13 mm -hmm. 13 says if you hold back your foot on Shabbat from pursuing your own interest on my holy day mm -hmm. if you call Shabbat a delight Adonai's mm -hmm. holy day worth honoring then honor it by not doing your usual things or pursuing your interest or speaking about them if you do you will find delight in Adonai I will make you ride on the heights of the land and feed you with the heritage of your ancestor Jacob Jacob for the mouth of Adonai has spoken see the Sabbath is not about what we want to do yeah. it's about honoring our Lord and Savior all day long because yes. we're going to read many scriptures where he's Lord of the Sabbath in the New Testament and it's about it's it's about giving him the glory you and know honor. he's saying and he's saying us everything that he is to us he's saying okay you worked hard six days okay you went to your job you've worked hard you've earned your pay you bought your food you did all of this now I want you to have a special day of rest in me not in your own pleasure of doing your own willful will but rest in mm -hmm. me and feed honoring him upon his word yes. yeah word. we're, we're we going to read in matthew mark luke and john word. what what yeshua did on the sabbath so um, so we're going to get there we're going to turn back holy day. to, Ye to yeshua isaiah 56 because okay. here is what adonai says 56 1 observe justice do what is right for my salvation is close to coming and we know yeshua is almost here yes he is. my righteousness to being revealed and he's going to be revealed yes. when he steps on the Mount of Olives because the Jews' eyes are going to be open. The blindness is going to be gone. And it, they're going to cry and wail because they're going to realize that Jesus was the Messiah. Amen. Happy is the person who does this, anyone who grasps it firmly, who keeps Shabbat Sabbath and does not profane it, and keeps himself from doing any evil. And this is talking about Barb's video she made earlier about staying away from evil keeping your spirit up so that your bodies don't get sick a foreigner joining Adonai should not say Adonai will separate me from his people likewise mm -hmm. the eunuch should not say I'm only a dried up tree mm -mm. for here is what Adonai says as for the eunuchs who keep my Shabbats my Sabbaths who choose what pleases me do you hear this this is what God wants mm -hmm. God does not want does not want us pleasing ourselves no he wants us to please him mm -hmm. okay and hold fast to my covenant in my house within my walls I will give them power and a name greater than sons and daughters I will give him an everlasting name that will not be cut off and the foreigners who join themselves to Adonai to serve him to love the name of Adonai and to be his workers are you listening people even the foreigners Mm -hmm. all who keep Shabbat Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast to my covenant I will bring them to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar for my house will be called a house of prayer for all the people Hallelujah! and remember that's why Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ yes. drove the money changers out that is the very words he said that, that you should you shall call my my father's house a house of prayer yes and it shall be it, it, it my goodness I have to put this in it just irritates Go. me you know they set up coffee shops now in churches I know they sell coffee like like it was a coffee I shop know. and you go in there You're and you there buy your cup, God. cup of coffee before you go into the pew uh, you buy a sandwich if you're hungry you can buy your sandwiches you can buy your candy bar you can buy your popcorn my goodness what have they turned churches do, into do, theaters do you not read Yeshua walking up to the temple and throwing <sighs> when did he get angry he got angry because he threw everything off of there. That that's one of the few times you see Yeshua getting angry because yes. they were doing it yes. on the temple courts. 
Could you see Jesus walking in, slamming coffee all over oh, the yeah. place, throwing the money changers and throwing the sandwiches and the and the candy and the popcorn all over the place and saying, Get out of here, you thieves and robbers. Yes. Don't call my father's house a den of thieves. It's supposed to be a house of prayer. House of prayer. And they've turned it into a den of thieves. Go into some of your modern churches. Yeah. I walked into one and almost fell over. In Springdale, they have oh, one. I know. I just I can't walk into the churches no more. It's just like you go in there and you can see Satan peering out at you. You want a cup of coffee? Oh, do we got some espresso you can have? That'll make you really feel good. Forgive me, Lord. That's just funny. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's but... true, but it's funny, Lord God. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, oh, Lord God. We're gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's yeah, funny. I'm gonna say you two never should get together again. Okay. But I'm telling you the All truth. Right. That's yes, what it doing. is the truth. It, you know, it's what they're doing, and that is the only time they're making churches into dens of thieves. Yes, they turned it into a Sunday church after uh, Constantine's. Sunday worship, uh, sun God worship, doing away with the Sabbath, going out to the lake and just buzzing around on their boats and whatever they want to do, you know, having a good old time and not one time really thinking about who paid the price for them. Amen. Who is the Lord of the Sabbath? Tell yes. us. Yeshua HaMashiach. We're going to read that Amen. many times. Okay. Amen. So, okay, in sixty in, in 56 here, it said, what did it say? Yes, Lord, let's remind them. It said, yes. who choose what pleases me in 56.4. Okay, if you choose what pleases me, pleasing God. First Thessalonians, we're going to turn to that because we're going to read in chapter 2. And we're going to read from verses 4 instead. Since God has tested us and found us fit to be entrusted with the good news. This is how we speak. Not to win favor with people, but Amen. with God who tests our hearts. For as you know, never did we employ flattering talk, nor did we put on a false front to mask greed. God is witness. Nor did we seek human praise, either from you or from others. As emissaries of the Messiah, we could have made our weight felt. But instead, we were gentle when we were with you, like a mother feeding, yes. caring for her children. Yes. We were so devoted to you because we're watchmen on the oh, wall, yes. that we That's were glad we to are. share with you not only God's good news, but also our own lives because you had become very dear to us. The dog is getting me. For you remember, brothers, our toil and hardship, how we worked night and day not to put a burden on any of you. See, they didn't quit their jobs, go sit down in their fancy suits, waiting till Sunday morning to get up behind right. the pulpit and start preaching. They went out and mended uh, uh, nets for fishing. They did physical labor to earn financial need, uh, financial means for their needs. They didn't sit around waiting for the people to take up the tithes and offerings so they That's could right. take up the money and go out and Amen. buy them a fancy home Amen. and a fancy car. Amen. They did not. They worked. They worked. Okay, because it says, for you remember, brothers, our, our toil and hardship, how we worked night and day not to put a burden on any of you while we were proclaiming God's news, God's good news to you. You are our witnesses, and so is God, of how holy, righteous, and blameless our behavior was in the sight mm -hmm. of you believers. Yes. For you know that we treated each one of you the way a father treats his children. Amen. We encouraged Amen. you and comforted you and appealed to you to lead lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory so who is calling us god is calling us and what does he say not to win favor with people but with god who tests our hearts i That's tell you people if if, if your preacher is up there and he's not holding down a job and you, your salary is coming out of the tithes and offerings That's blasphemy. he's going to preach <laughs> quit Shh. be quiet He's going, he's saying amen, okay? Even the dog knows amen. I mean, I'm sorry, people. But I, I'm saying this because if that preacher is up there and he's under you to pay his wages, then you know what's happening? He's going to preach to keep you there. Yep. He's not going to say the true words of God because if he offends you, you can take your books and, you'll go. and go down the road. 
to another church and give it to another preacher. Yep. You know what? That's why I like Pastor George. You know, Pastor George has a bad reputation on YouTube because of Almighty Wind. The Almighty Wind that sits over there in her luxurious house with her hot tubs. And I know I'm being facetious, but you know what? I see the difference. She doesn't work, her husband doesn't work, and they live off of the hearts of the people telling them and she'll even get mad and ball you out if you don't send your tithing in you know why because she's living she's off living of you off of it. but i'm telling you pastor george goes to work every day at a job he works every day he earns his money and he supports his family he supports his household and he preaches the word of god to you Mm. I consider man. him a man of God. God. He is more like Paul yep. to me because he works. He does what he's supposed to do. Amen. And he even helps people with the money that he works for. I know this for a fact. He doesn't live off of you guys. He works. He never takes, he never asks for money. He's sort of like me. I never asked for money. I know, and I never have have had to either because I and, had a and husband who worked, and yet the Lord has brought me out of 22 and a half years of um, bondage, of mm -hmm. abuse. Very um, abusive. Um, Very I, abusive. I've I'm been set sorry. free. I've been there. I just don't want to go too deep in this on the video, yeah, Lord I God, because I know it's a testimony right now. But, um, you know, um, and, and actually until I had my first heart attack, I was working. Mm -hmm. So, um, and um, now with the two stents in my heart and... Um, um, two? I thought it was three. No, I have two and I have two more veins that are oh, half okay. closed. Excuse me. Um, and I don't have insurance, you know, so they're not fixing those, but I'm praying. It's okay. He's going to take care of it. I know. God's going to take care of it. I don't worry. But anyway, um, you know, up until that point, I was taken care of. And and I, and I know the Lord's going to take care of me mm -hmm. and everything's going to work out. Yes, it but, is. But um, it's a walk in faith. It is. I, I want to just share that with every single one of you who, who've listened to us and who listened to Barb. It is a walk of faith that we do every single day. And I, wa I want to say this, sis. I do. I feel I put it in here. People that think that sin doesn't affect your body, you're wrong. It does. It causes sickness. But the suffering sickness, I see my sister suffer. Because she didn't want to have to go through this. I've seen her cry. I've seen her just shake. And I, I've seen the suffering of her spirit just like the suffering of Yeshua because she was going to have to go through something she did not want to go through. I want to point that out to you people. That's what suffering's about. And I suffered when I had to go through it. She's suffering now. So pray for her that God will strengthen her to do what she has to do. Because we have to be walking in obedience in these last days. Yes. Because I'm telling you, we're going to, he gave me a scripture to read here about obedience. So we're going to turn to uh, Colossians for a minute. You're in the middle of this. And we're going to go to Colossians 3, 1 through 17 real quick about obedience right now. Because um, I, I just, oh yes, Lord, okay, I'll say it. I, I didn't believe in divorce. I, I got to tell you that because um, I got married. Um, so let's just go back. May 17th, 1994, I um, said the sinner's prayer. July 4th, 1994, I became baptized with my soon-to-be husband. December 24th, 1994, I got married to my husband. Um, that February, I got pregnant with our first child, and the Lord just lined everything up. I'm telling you, He works very fast when He draws you in, and and you are His. And so, um, you know, and and so my husband walked in disobedience because all of our arguments became over God. So he um, didn't want her to pray. No. He he would he would threaten her. He didn't read want the Word of God. I'd be sitting it, there reading the Word of God, and he would come up and yell at me and, and scream at me and him. spit on me. And you know, the amazing thing is though. Yeshua HaMashiach is our ark. And mm -hmm. you better know that right now. You better know that He is your protection in these yes. last days. And it just come to the point Colossians, that God Lord said, God. God said, enough is enough. You've abused my daughter, daughter long, long enough. enough, and I'm moving you out. You won't, you won't repent. You know the word. You've been there, but you won't repent. 
and you'd rather abuse her, threaten to kill her, yes. even having dreams about killing her. Killing me and my children. And and stuff. He says, enough is enough. I'm, I'm moving you out of the picture. Whether she likes it or Whether not. Whether I liked it or not, because I didn't believe in it. So here's what he showed me. He divorced Yisrael for her disobedience. Mm -hmm. That, you know, there are other reasons for divorce, adultery and things. But you need to know that you cannot walk in disobedience in these last days because we are in the last days right now so and, and fornication i will she won't admit it but fornication is part of this because her husband fornicated and jesus did say when they ask him what 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 is the reason to divorce our wives and he had just got on to him about it it's because of your hard hardness but he did say but for fornication in other words he polluted the marriage bed he defiled the marriage bed and god said enough is enough, is enough. you're out of here so you know barb took me down to um start these things and um i want to tell you what spiritual suffering is for just a moment you know when yeshua yes, was in the she... garden in matthew 26 36 through 46 and he was praying and drops of blood came out. That was his spiritual suffering because he knew what he was getting ready yes. to walk. See, Jesus never was sick. No, nope, he was never he sick. He never had the flu. He didn't have a cold. Nope. He didn't have the, Nothing. Uh, the, the spiritual cancer suffering. or anything like that. He, he never suffered that way. Okay? People that think he did, it, it, you're wrong. He never went through that physical nope. suffering of diseases. It was spiritual it was spiritual Ephesians um, read Ephesians 6 about we it is we are fighting spiritual battles now it is not physical we're getting new bodies and they're going to be spiritual mm. bodies so let's go to Colossians 3 1 so um you know kind of what's going on with me and but um God's bringing me I'm ho I'm okay. okay so if you were raised along with the Messiah then seek these things above where the Messiah is sitting at the right hand of God focus your minds on the things above you got to be focused up there. You can't be focused on what's going on in the world. You know, we were sitting here earlier listening to the news and all these things that are happening, they don't even affect us anymore because we are focused on Yeshua HaMashiach and the Father I mean, right now. You know, Korea's, North Korea is getting ready to bomb us. So what? So, if they do, they do. Yep. If they don't, they don't. Uh, Russia is telling us to get, get out. out. Because Germany coming. is the leopard and she's she's coming up. I'm, yeah. we, we know the things that are coming and we see the things that are coming. And mm -hmm. all of you do out there that are focused on the Lord, you're seeing it coming too. But is it bothering any of us? No, because we're focused up there. We are focused just, on Him. You know what it means? Sooner for you, sooner for you, sure to step. That's yes. what I'm waiting for. You should have split those clouds. Yes. Okay, so Amen. the word of God tells us right now focus your minds on the things above, not on things here on earth. For you have died. Mm -hmm. Do you get that? Do you get we are dying? Our physical bodies are dying? Yes. Because we're being spiritually lifted up. Amen. And your life is hidden Amen. with the Mashiach Amen. in God. When the Mashiach, who is our life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Amen and amen. Therefore, put to death the earthly parts of your nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, mm -hmm. evil desires, and greed, which is a form of idolatry. For it is because of these things, are you listening? These things that God's anger is coming on those who disobey him. Amen. Disobedience. Remember, we did a video on uh, Samuel 14, 15, Lord God. Samuel 15, when mm -hmm. Saul disobeyed God and he told Samuel, rent the, he, he's renting the kingdom from him because he walked in disobedience. Yes. I'm telling you, the kingdom is going to be rented from you if you're walking in disobedience because these Amen. are the last days. If you've got any of these sins in your life right now, Get him out. You better get him repent, out. Repent. Repent. Mm -hmm. Fall to your because knees and ask the Lord to forgive you. Be covered by the blood of Yeshua mm -hmm. HaMashiach. Yes. True enough. You used to practice these things in the life you once lived. But now put them all away. Anger. Exasperation. Meanness. Slander. And obscene talk. Never lie to one another because you have stripped away the old self with its ways. And have put on the new self. Which is the, the Raw Hakadesh, which is continually being renewed in fuller and fuller knowledge, closer and closer to the image of its creator. Because who were we created in the image of? 
God. I mean, for you people that don't believe in God, like I told one guy, go look in the mirror because you Amen. are created yes, in yes, the image are. of God. I mean, you yes, might not, you yes. might deny it, but I don't but care. You can't look at yourself unless you're looking at God because Amen. you're in the image. Of we him. are in the image. Not by God, but an in the image. The new self allows no room for discriminating between Gentile and Jew. Are you listening? Because we are becoming one new man, people. One. Amen. Amen. Circumcised and, amen. and uncircumcised. Foreigner, savage, slave, free man on the contrary and all. The Messiah, Yeshua mm. HaMashiah, is everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with feelings of compassion and with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another. If anyone has to complain against someone else, forgive him. Mm -hmm. And I want you to really listen Hallelujah. to this statement right here. Indeed. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Because I'm telling you what, if you can't forgive somebody, the Lord's not going to forgive you. That's Amen. how this works. It is forgiveness on both sides. And be thankful. Let the word of the Messiah, Yeshua, yes. in all its richness, live in you. It's written on our hearts, people. Yes. As you teach and counsel each other in all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude to God in your hearts, I pray that all of us are always singing and praising Him Hallelujah. and worshiping and lifting yes. Him on, on high because Praise He is so our Lord. God. Okay. There's sometimes you know you can even get in the ghost story and you just get a chill of glory over oh, you yeah. because God done something and you just want to dance. I dance all the time. I embarrass so my children. It's funny. That is everything you do or say, do in the name of the Lord Yeshua, giving thanks through him to God the Father. And then I want you to I want to tell you about reading Psalm 92 because we were speaking of Psalms there. Okay. But, uh, uh, also real quick cuz let's go with it. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes Ephesians. were far off, Ephesians, yes, chapter 2, 13, 13, were far off, are made high nigh by the blood of Christ. Amen. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, that's Jew one and Gentile, having abolished in his one flesh the enemy, enemy even the man. law of the commandments contained in ordinance, for to make in himself, in Jesus Christ, Yeshua, HaMashiach, making him himself of twain, one new Man, Confirmation. so making peace. Two or more witnesses. There's two times in God's word it says one new man. There you go. Okay, okay. Psalm 92. It's a song for Shabbat, the Sabbath. Read it. Go read it and sing it to the Lord tonight when you honor the Sabbath. So, uh, so we're not going to, I don't know if we're going to have time because we got all this to go, oh, Okay, girl. keep going. So Psalm 92, okay? All right. Then all I want to turn to Isaiah, Yeshua 66, the very last chapter. Because I want to read to you what it says we're going to do. Okay. In Isaiah 66, 22, it says, For just as the new heavens and the new earth, and where also is that same line? Do you know that same line is in Revelation 21, 1? Go read it there. Okay. For just as the new heavens and the new earth that I am making, because what did Yeshua say he was going to do? I'm going to go prepare a place for you. He's preparing that place for us. A new heaven and a new earth. Yeah. That I am I'm just on fire. Oh, man. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Praise and then I am making will continue in my presence, says Adonai. Do you hear this? It's going to continue in his presence. So will your descendants and your name continue. Do you hear that? Our descendants and our name's going to continue. Okay. In a thousand year reign, there's going to be marriage, mm -hmm. and there's going to be birth, mm -hmm. and there's going to be descendants. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. okay. Every month on Rosh Hashanah and every week on Shabbat, Sabbath, mm -hmm. everyone living will come to worship in my presence, says Adonai. Now, do you hear this? This is confirmation in God's worth. Rosh Hashanah is the new moon. Shabbat, every Sabbath, people are going to still come to the temple and worship him. Because there's going to be a temple over there. For you people that think that... And we're going to go to that next. But there okay. Is, okay. As they leave, 
They will look on the corpses of the people who rebelled against me, for their worm will never die, and their fire will never be quenched, but they will be abhorrent to all humanity. Do you understand that hell is going to be right there, the pit of fire, as we walk into the temple to remind us never to sin? Never, never to, to sin, sin again. Because that's there it where is. We'll go. It's a reminder. A reminder. If you sin, that's where your home is going to be. Because what did God say? Do this in remembrance of me. Oh, yes. What did Yeshua yes. say for communion? Do yes. this in remembrance of me. What is God showing us right here? This is in remembrance of the sin that you walked away from. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, Ezekiel 46. All Ez right. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah, I agree Ezekiel. with her. Go to, to, to Psalms and read that. Psalm that, that, 92. Sing that to the Lord tonight. Yes. yes. Um, Being that this is the beginning the of the Sabbath. Sabbath at, at, at evening tonight. At evening 46. tonight. Read it. Okay. Actually, what I want to say first is Ezekiel, Ezekiel, which, you know, I've already um, said this before, but when I know Barb said this many times, in chapters 40 through 48 is the new kingdom. Yes. It's the yes, new it temple. Yes, it is. Okay, it talks so, everything that's so going to happen. So if you read the whole there. thing, it's it's going to tell you all about that because he takes Ezekiel up onto a high mountain yes. and he shows him this vision. All right. So here's what I want. Here's what the Lord said. So in Ezekiel 46, 1 through 7, this is in the new kingdom. This is what Adonai Elohim says. The east gate of the inner courtyard is to be shut on the six working days. Mm -hmm. But on Shabbat Sabbath, <laughs> it is to be opened. And on Rosh Hashanah, it is to be opened. The prince, Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen. is to enter by the way of the outer vestibule of the gate and stand by the support of the gate. The Kohanim are to prepare his burnt offering and peace offerings. Then he is to prostrate himself in worship. Even Yeshua HaMashiach is going to prostrate himself in worship to because, the Father. Like I, I've told you, God show me this. This is a kingdom within a kingdom. kingdom. God's kingdom, the Father, Yahweh, Yahweh is his name, Will ha is, uh, has the kingdom right now, right going on. But Jesus, Yeshua, when he died on the cross, inherited his uh, inherited kingdom. Because he said in Hebrews, who have I said to call up to be my son? Was it any of the angels? Go back and read chapter 1 in Hebrew, and you will find out what I'm saying is the truth. Mm -hmm. Read it for yourself and discern by the Spirit. He looked down one day, and he says, I choose you. And I don't think he called him Jesus at that time, or even Yeshua. I think there's a special name that he called him. I choose you as my son. He wasn't an angel. He says... I gotta go back over. You here. do that and I'll finish you this. You finish that. Then right. he says, okay. Then he is to prostrate himself in worship at the threshold of the gate, after which he is to leave. But the gate is not to be shut until evening. See, Amen. evening to Amen. evening. The people of the land are also to prostrate themselves in worship before Adonai at the entrance to the gate on Shabbat Sabbath and on Rosh Hashanah New Moon because we're going to go back. Isaiah 66, Yeshua says it. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 46, 1 is confirming it. We are going back to the original feast and festivals. If you will read in Exodus 31, 12 through 18, it talks about the Sabbath generation to generation it Amen. was never set up just for them just for the jews in the old testament god said generation to generation and we are still a generation people okay let me go over to go, you're going to hebrews yes that's where then we're going to go in matthew mark luke and john and we're going to find out because they, they need to know who yeshua truly is i mean i'm uh, Hebrews. Where is Hebrews? I'm way off. Well, okay. Because it's right here. She's going to find it for me. It's okay. All right. All right. Okay. Then we're going to go to. Let Hebrews. me read to you who Yeshua Hamashiach, Shia Jesus is. Christ, Hebrews is. One. Beginning chapter 1 1. God, who a sundry times and in diver manner spoke. In times past unto the fathers by the prophets. That's how he prophesied. That's how he spoke to all of the our forefathers in the times past. Hath in these last days spoke unto us by his son. 
whom he hath appointed heir of, of all oh, things, shit. by whom also he made the worlds. Who Mine be, says, and through whom he created the universe. Yes. Go ahead. Who being the brightness of his glory and the expressed image of his God. person. Amen. So he looks exactly The very like expression God. of God's essence is what mine right. says. Isn't and, that awesome? Uh, and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins. Oh. Yeshua purged our sins. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Purification. Set down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto That's why it which says Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is the name above all names. Above all names. Above all names, right there. There is no other name above. Yep. Okay, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, this is talking about God, Yahweh, saying at any time, what, which of the angels said he any time, thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. I mean, did he say this to the, any of the angels? No. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. The angels are supposed to worship mm -hmm. him. They bow down. When he bow speaks. down to him. Yes. And the angel, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flaming fire. He gave them, he gave the angels a, a, a position of what they should do. Yes. Really. Each angel was assigned their own of their own what they were, job. healing angels, uh, mercy angels, teaching angels, warring angels, angels of mercy, warring angels. Every everything. angel was given their job. Yes, yeah. Lord. But unto the Son, this one that he picked out, unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, even God called, called him, him God, God, is oh. Just hallelujah right now for a moment. Praise you. Yes, Whoa. Lord. She had an inspiration. Because he's God. Yeah, it because, says that. You know, even even because David said that. I know, but even David said it. But you know what? These people who don't think that Father Yahweh is God, God Most High, and Yeshua HaMashiach is God, Son of the Most High God, God, you know? Yeah, he mean, is. His word says it, people. Read it. Okay, go ahead. I just... But uh, to the Son, he said... throw that in. Thy throne... God, yes. oh God, is forever and ever, and a scepter of righteousness uh, is for the scepter of the kingdom. In other words, he gave his son a kingdom right yes, there and then. Yep, when he was a created. kingdom within a kingdom. When he was first born, he was given the kingdom. This has loved, thou has loved righteousness. Why? Because Yeshua has loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy followers, above even us. With the oil wow. of joy in preference to your companions. Yes. And thy Lord in the beginning has laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens as are the works of thy own hand. He laid this out for his son, Yeshua HaMashiach. He made us for mm -hmm. him. Yes, he did. Thou shalt perish. They shall perish. See, the old world shall perish. But thy remainest, the son remaineth. Forever. The son remaineth forever. forever. Yeshua HaMashiach remain remaineth forever. forever. And thou shalt remain. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they, the earth and all the things of it, sh uh, all shall wax old as doth a garment, mm -hmm. and as a vesture. And the earth's pretty old. Science proves it. Yep. Go ahead. And as a vesture shall they fall Because I used to not think up. it was that old, people, okay? I just it's, have to throw that in there. But, it but says, God has shown me. I know, but God has shown important. me. He's going to fold them up. Right here well, it says, yeah, we've read that. And as a vesture shall they... Thy fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not 
felt. Mine says yes, they will be changed like clothing. You yes, know, because, like clothing. He's because, just like he's taking them off and he's folding it up to make a new heaven and a new earth, which is in Revelations. But to which of the angels? Which of the angels? None. Said he at that time, sit at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. None. 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 Art thou not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who ha shall be heirs of salvation? We're part of Yeshua's kingdom. Because we're heirs. And Yeshua is part of God's kingdom. So that makes us part of God's kingdom. kingdom also. I was looking kingdom for what it says the heaven and earth will roll up like a scroll. Because it yes. says that in Revelation. Um, yes. Because that's confirming what it says here in Hebrews. So people, people. It's a kingdom within the kingdom. kingdom. And that's why the temple in Ezekiel, Ezekiel. is going to be there. Yes. The and, prince. And what did Yeshua say? He was going to prepare a place for us. Yes, he is. I mean, he's preparing that place for us right now. Yes, he is. Yes, 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 I yes, mean, yes, right yes. now. Right yes, now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We're going to start Matthew. I don't know. Where, how, how are we doing on time? Oh, well, it's okay. a two-parter because Matthew is going to be... We're going to find out if we go to Matthew 12, mm -hmm. 1 through 8. Well, you want to end this right now and start? We could because we'll... because this is all about, Yesh the rest of this is about Yeshua being Lord okay. of the Sabbath. I'm going to end this one right now. Great. Father, right now, in the name of Yeshua, you bless this video mightily so Great. people so, yes, will Lord. hear and will yes. understand. Yes, the main Lord. thing, Father, not only hearing, understanding. understanding right Give the them the wisdom of to understand. Yes, Soften their hearts that they know who they yes, are Lord. in this kingdom. Yes, Lord. Who Yeshua HaMashiach yes, who you truly are. is. Yes, yes, yes. And who the Father oh, Yahweh yes, it truly yes, is. Yes, Lord, because yes. this is a kingdom yes, within a kingdom. Yes, and yes, we yes. are going to be united with the Father of Yahweh. We are going to become yes, one with Him because we are becoming yes, one with yes, Yeshua Lord, HaMashiach. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise Bless Lord. this video Praise for your glory in yes. thy holy name. And we plead Amen. your blood of protection over this video yes. right now right in the power now. of your most holy name. Right Lord now. Yeshua Hamashiach of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. In Yeshua's yes. name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. And sexual transmitted disease come upon people that are disobeying God and having yes. sexual intimate intimacy outside of their marriage. One man, one woman. Not two men and two women together. No, mm -mm. it's one man, one woman, foreordained by God from the very beginning and creation of time. Okay, so I wanted to correct that and thank you, thank you, my sister, that you reminded me of that. You know, in in your um, note below my other video. So anyway, there we go. But now. We have a message from the Lord. As I was praising the Lord this morning in, in praise and worship, He wrote it on my heart to tell you about the Sabbath and how important it is that we keep it. Amen. Because it's a rehearsal for the thousand years coming. Amen. So those of us who are called right now need to be yes. keeping the Sabbath. He Let is, me put in there real quick. Go ahead. God just put in mine. He said, when you're doing a play, a theater production or anything for school or or any anything you that's why you have rehearsals Amen. so when you get to the main production then you know what to do what to say and how to yes. act and 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 this is what this rehearsal of the shabbat is all about is knowing how to act and how what to do during that thousand year reign? It's it's a rehearsal of what really is going to happen. I know happen, what we're sister. getting ready to do all the time. Oh, yes. I know. Amen. Okay. First of all, we're going to the very beginning in Bereshit Genesis. It says at the end of every single time that God created, it says so there was evening and there was morning one day mm -hmm. one five one. Eight. So there was evening and there was morning a second day. That's the reason why all the feast and everything that belongs sunset to the to Jewish sunset. is from sunset to sunset because God pronounced it from the very, very beginning. beginning. 
because each one of these ends with that. Um, four, in 19, so there was evening and there was morning of fourth day. And so, um, 23, so there was evening and morning of fifth day. Oh, being interrupted. My and phone. also, it also says, and that's how it was, and I like that, because you either believe God's word or you don't. You either get it, you either believe every single word, or you don't get it. So, Amen. Amen. I mean, that's all there is to it. So then in 2 1, it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, along with everything in them. On the seventh day, God was finished with his work which he had made. So he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. God blessed the seventh day and separated it as holy, because on that day God rested from all his work which he had created, so that it, it itself could produce. Seventh day. What from is the, the seventh beginning. day from the beginning of time? Sunday is the first day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Sunday church was brought in by Constantine in the year 300 in the Catholic Church mm -hmm. because Constantine wanted to get away from the Jewish rules to break it away and make man-made doctrines. God's Amen. word says... It well... Hello, everybody. Guess who I got? Hi. <laughs> My sister Hi. Tina. Hi to everybody. I'm here today. Because God, God just moved for her to be here today. Yes. So you get to meet her. Praise the Lord. And you know what? We got a word for you. Yes, we, we do. do. Yes. So right now, we're going to open up word. with prayer. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Lord Yeshua, Hamashi, and Rahakadesh. Lord, we come boldly before your throne of grace today. And we bless your holy name and we praise you and we thank you. And we thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives and for taking care of us, Lord God. Yes. And thank you that yes. you love us. And thank you that you chose us to be your children, Lord God. And oh, thank you, Father, for mm -hmm. the love that you have lavished upon us as your children. Yes. That, we, that we may be called children of yes. your Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. We love you and bless your holy name. Rahakadesh, I pray and ask that you will fill us up. And please bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding while reading and hearing your word today. Thank you. And may you bless the people with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding while hearing your word today. And may they hear this message and may it be written on the tablets of their hearts. Thank you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. And quickly, I want on my last video, I talked about the sin uh, of sexual sin, you know, and I said hepatitis C, meaning hepatitis B, you know, sometimes I get to speaking, and my, my, I get to speaking faster than I'm thinking, okay, so I, I really want to correct that, it's hepatitis B. That is sexual transmitted disease. It is the seventh day. The Shabbat, the Sabbath, is the seventh day. That's Saturday now. Saturday. Not the Sunday. End. Okay, the end. I mean, let me, I'm, I'm going over here. To, I want to go over here to Exodus real Exodus quick. Exodus 20? 20. I, the Ten Commandments? Go. Yes, that's my next yes, one. Go okay, to the Exodus girl. 20. Yes, go that's to Exodus 20. That's the next one God wrote 20. down. Exodus 20. It is important that it's you understand. It's very important that we know the Ten Commandments. Verse 8. Okay. You read. It says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Amen. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Well, how many days did God work over there in Genesis? Six. Six days. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou art thy sons, nor thy daughters, nor thy maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, even to the animals, do you Even understand? to the animals, they're supposed to rest, yes. Nor Amen. thy stranger that is within thy gate. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all in them is, and rested the seventh day. So he's best basing this commandment off of what he did on creation. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and I hallowed it. Hallowed it. Hallowed it. So he separated it. Hallowed here means separated for himself. Yes. We are separated to him. 
we who are called right now have been separated out for him. That's why it's a rehearsal That's day why because, it's a we're rehearsal being separated because we're being separated. Out. We're going to be they, in the thousand the Lord year just reign. showed us that right now. <laughs> wow. So when you read Exodus 20, the Lord said, go to Revelation 20. In Revelation 20, it talks about the thousand years. That thousand years is the thousand year Sabbath rest. Yes. This Sabbath that we are having right now is the rehearsal for that thousand years. Because it says in in um, Revelation 20 verse 5. Let's go back a little. Uh, where do we want to start here, Lord? Okay, let's go to 4. Then I saw thrones, and those seated on them received authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for testifying, excuse me, testifying about Yeshua and proclaiming the word of God. Also those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands. They came to life and ruled with the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, for a thousand years. That's they us. ruled. That's us. For a thousand Ooh, years. Yes. That's what we get to do. This is teaching us what us we're going to do. The, us the Sabbath keepers. Yes. Yes. Blessed. We so we go to six. Blessed and holy is anyone who has part in the first resurrection. Over him the second death has no power. Has no power. On the contrary, they will be Kohanim of God and of the Messiah, and they will rule with him for the thousand years. You <sighs> see, we will be. Ruling and reigning for a thousand years with Yeshua HaMashiach and his and, kingdom. And it's going to be our Sabbath rest with him. Uh, God brought me to Isaiah 58, 13. Hold on. Yep. Okay. okay. Got it wrote down. It says. Sorry. I got oh, that in your way, don't I? That's okay. Okay. Yes, if I turn away thy foot from this Sabbath... Hmm. Ooh, we don't want to turn from the Sabbath because that's He's this is judgment. He's saying in 